there it is. Hey everyone, it's Cheyenne. We're gonna do some blog things this week because, uh, I don't know, I just really want to. I've been really liking that lately and now everything pops up. Like, everything was fine earlier and now it all pops up. Just when I... <sighs> Alright. Uh, let's have some fun with this. Uh, let's... Huh. Okay, let's find out what's wrong with my ex, and then we're gonna see what the chances are that I've been abducted by aliens. Why not? Hush. Goodness. Alright. What first attracted you to your ex? Uh, he was super charming. He was very good at being charming. Uh, when you were together, you usually fought about your ex having jealousy issues, being a jerk to you, being too clingy. Um, out of these, I suppose, I don't know, just, we'll say everything and anything pretty much, because there were a few different things, and, um, why did you break up? couldn't trust you, was too self-absorbed, wanted too much from you. Uh, how did your ex react when you broke up? It acted like it was always, uh, moved on fast. Oh, it's got very dark. Uh, kind of like this one, except it was like trying to get back together and then angry. Out of these, probably interesting. Hmm. All right, then. I don't know. The answers with that were too vague, and, uh, or, you know, mine was probably too, like, specific of a case. So, what are the chances that I have been abducted by aliens? Why not? Let's try it. Check all that I apply with, or apply to me. Uh, I don't, I feel like I'm always being watched, not really. Crip citrus fruits, no. Your mouth tastes like chemicals or metal. Mm. Uh, no, not really. You are either obsessed or scared of aliens. Uh. I used to, so we'll click on that one. Dream of being operated on? That'd be weird. Unexpected marks on my body. I have, like, scars that I don't know where they came from, but... Prone to sleepwalking? Not really. Ears ring frequently. If you like, you're going crazy. I am crazy. You wake up sore for no reason. I'll just say I feel like I'm going crazy because I am crazy. Da -da -da. Uh, developed a fear of the dark all of a sudden, you have memories of feeling paralyzed, you are easily startled, you have distant memories of being probed, you have lost time in your life that you can't account for, you believe that you have seen a UFO, you dream of animals eating you, that's kind of horrifying, um, you feel like you have a total understanding of the world and a special mission in life. Uh, I feel like everybody has their own little mission in life, but I really don't have a total understanding of the world. Irrational fear of the dark, open sky, or wooded areas. Actually, I love those areas. You've had an out-of-body experience. You see flashes of lights that other people don't see. You're obsessed with the end of the world and huge disasters. So, three things out of all of that. Wow. There's a 12% chance I've been abducted by aliens. <laughs> There's always hope for the future. It makes it sound like... I want to be. Am I boring or interesting? Let's find out. Probably pretty boring. Check all that I apply or agree with. Confident person? Heck no. Uh, up on current events? Not really. Uh, one interesting hobby? I feel like I do. You're creative? Yeah. Uh, you listen carefully to what people say? You really should. I mean, it's a nice thing to do. You have a good memory? No. You don't let yourself get bored? You read regularly? don't complain much, you start conversation. I probably complain way too much, you start conversations with strangers, not really, uh, you love to learn new things on your own, you joke around a lot and make people laugh, you don't watch m much television, I really don't, honestly, like, I'll watch stuff on my phone quite often, but as far as, like, actual TV goes, I really don't watch a whole lot of it, um, I tell a good story, I've been told I do, 
You are irrelevant and sometimes shocking. Uh, very open-minded about people. Yep. Uh, you refrain from talking about your feelings or focusing too much on yourself. I actually often feel like I focus too much on myself, I, which is one of the reasons I'm not very confident. Uh, you're friends with interesting... Oh, so wait, so then I should not click on that one. Uh, you're friends with interesting people from all walks of life. I feel like I am. Well-traveled. I'd love to visit new places, but I don't feel like I'm well-traveled yet. Uh, God, there's so much stuff building up, are there? You have a career that you're passionate about. You rarely turn down and invite to do something. You try a lot of new things. You don't like to be stuck in a rut. Uh, you participate in at least one group activity. Uh, you're not a snob. I don't, yeah. uh, you don't gossip or argue. Oh, no, wait. I, I do argue sometimes, so. But doesn't everybody, though? Okay, let's see if we can close out some of these. Sorry. We're gonna wait to do that then. Uh, truth be told, you're not the most interesting person in the world. You don't put much effort into expanding your horizons. You're content to stay in your little comfort zone. You tend to get stuck in a rut. You often bore people who spend time with you. Wow. I am predictable and somewhat narcissistic. You're too focused on yourself to see how boring you can be. You have the potential to be an incredibly fascinating person. You just have to be a little more proactive. Shake things up. Try something new. Take a risk. The worst that can ha happen is that you have an amazing story to tell. Wow. My confidence just went down even further. Wow. That's, uh... We're just gonna... We're, we're just going to go back to the top. Alright, we'll do one more. Uh, let's do what is your love language. Because, you know, you hear about that all the time. And I'm not entirely sure what my love language is. So let's find out. Uh, you would like a partner. What would you like your partner to surprise you with the most? Handwritten love letter. Present you can use right away. Uh, handwritten love letter. After a hard day, which of these are most likely to cheer you up? Reassur reassurance that you are doing your best, a nice copy of your favorite book, uh, drawn bath with lots of candles around it, just a chill night together doing nothing. Uh, probably snuggling. I'm a snuggler. Um, what makes you feel most appreciated? Your partner expressing gratitude. When your love takes the time to think of you. When your sweetheart takes a chore off your plate, getting to spend time together with no goal in mind. That one's always nice. Uh, you feel hurt when your sweetheart hasn't praised you in a while, under celebrates a birthday or anniversary, leaves you to do all the relationship chores, doesn't have much time to be with you, doesn't touch you much. Um, a little bit of two of these, uh, but I feel like the one that would bother me more is probably this one uh da, 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 da. what is the best way to celebrate a romantic anniversary just sitting somewhere peaceful reminiscing exchange of meaningful gifts by surprising one another somehow taking the day to spend off work together spending all day in bed oh that's a good one i like that one um but i feel like that should be like an everyday thing not just like a one time romantic thing so I'm going to say by surprising people. Mm, actually, I like this one better. Uh, okay. How are you most likely to treat yourself? By writing a to-da list of your accomplishments, wardrobe, refreshed, deep clean of your house, uh, taking a mental health day off work to a relaxing massage. This one. Growing up, you loved it when your parents complimented you, surprised you with a present, did your chores, spent some extra time with you. Oh, I loved when people tussled my hair growing up. And some of my family members, like, still do that. Like, my aunt or my uncle will tussle my hair when they walk by. It's one of the sweetest things in the world. Uh, but I think back then, I loved it when I could spend extra time with my parents or siblings. You have good news. How would you like your partner to celebrate with you? Talking with you all about it. Yeah. Just talking. I like that one. Your ideal romantic getaway includes long walks for unwinding and talking. A fun shopping spree. Uh, 
homemade service. Uh, lots of unstructured time to just be together. Full service relaxing spell. Probably lots of unstructured time to just be together. Because that, I mean, I like long walks and talking, but that could be within the lots of unstructured time just to be together. Uh, what's the best way to make up after an argument? Talking it out, reaffirming your love, doing a little some I Yeah, talking it out is really important, and so are lots of hugs and cuddles, though. But I feel like talking talking it out is the most important thing after a fight because you kind of, like, you need to be able to work it out so that you can figure out what happened and how to better handle it in the future. But lots of hugs and cuddles too though, so like holiday do you do you like to celebrate with your sweetheart the most? Well I don't have a sweetheart, but if I did, um probably Thanksgiving, because then like we could go see our families together and that'd be really sweet. Um because I, I think it's one of the most amazing things to be able to like spend time with your family or like if with someone you cared about, cared about family, um, about family, whatever, whatever. Correct grammar, yes. Uh, like I think it's amazing to be able to see the people that love them or the way that they love the people that you love also. Um, so that's pretty cool. It would be hard for you to be with someone who was not verbally expressive, stingy, lazy, a workaholic, physically cold. Physically cold. It's a bit. Alright, and this is the last one. Because, yeah. Your love language is quality time. For you, the best things about love are indeed free. Just some... Words. You just simply like being with your partner. You think that time together would be the easiest thing in the world, but true quality time is a is a is a whale gift. Is a whale gift. When you totally appreciate. You love to receive a little undivided attention. No devices allowed. You value time just talking and connecting with your sweetie. <laughs> Even making dinner together and watching a movie can be an amazing <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing night for you it's all about the company <laughs> don't ask me what that was don't just leave it at that alright so this has been another blog things video because I actually really like making these videos and I'd love to see like you guys take some of these quizzes and maybe just like put them below like this is the quiz I took this is the answer I got hey cool stuff yeah boom let me know in the comments below so I definitely took a big confidence in it today but um I love you guys so much stay you believe in yourselves because you guys are absolutely amazing and I mean that don't forget that don't forget to dance today thanks for watching and I'll see you later